This video demonstrates a typical filing. We will file a motion as a lead document, attach an exhibit to support our motion, and then file a proposed order as a second lead document. To keep this simple, we'll assume you already have the case number. Start by clicking on the e-filing tab. Then in the upper right corner, enter the case number and click on the Find button to locate the case and open the e-filing screen. Whenever you begin a filing, you should check the service contacts to make sure they are complete. At a minimum, both you and the opposing counsel should be listed. Notice that the parties to this case, along with their current counsel, are all listed just below the service contact area. You will notice as we move through this demonstration that many of the fields have default values filled in for you. We derive reasonable defaults based on what we know about the case you are filing on and your previous work. Changing the value if we guessed wrong is as simple as clicking on the menu arrows and correcting the entry. With those routine checks done, we are now ready to upload our documents. This is the Document Upload button. If you have your file folder open in another window, you can just drag your files onto this button. You can also click it to open your file browser and select files by double-clicking. We'll be using that second method in this demonstration. First, we'll upload our motion. While the file is uploading, we can go ahead and start filling out the details like filing type, filing description, and filing party. Notice that a preview pane showing the document we just uploaded is appeared to the left. That helps us check to make sure we uploaded the right document. When we're ready to upload our exhibit as an attachment to the motion, we'll use the File Upload button that's in the same window as our lead document. To look at different documents in the preview pane, just click on the eyeball next to the document you're interested in. In the preview pane, you have tools to zoom in and scroll back and forth through the document to make sure you uploaded the right one. When the lead and all attachments have been uploaded, just click on the Save button. Now we'll click on the Upload button a second time to upload our proposed order as a second lead document. Notice that since we selected the party filing this document the first time around, it's now the default for any subsequent documents that we file. Now let's pause to make sure the envelope is ready to file. The description for each lead is in bold. The lead file is at the top, and all of the attachments are listed below with a paper clip icon next to them. If I need to change anything, the pencil icon allows us to edit, and if I'm in a tossing mood, the trash can deletes the lead and all of its attachments. If it all looks good, we're ready to submit the envelope. Notice that the party responsible for fees has defaulted to whoever you last chose as a filing party for one of the documents. Click on the four affirmations that you know what you're doing, and then click on the Submit button. The Acknowledgements screen shows you a summary of the documents filed in this envelope and the people receiving e-service. Immediately below that summary, you will find shortcuts for your next task. You can file a new case, go to My Electronic Filings to view all of your filings, or look up another case for subsequent filings. If you suddenly realize you forgot a document that should have gone into this envelope, you can file another envelope on the same case with a single click up at the top. Thanks for viewing this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions that weren't answered, please don't hesitate to get in touch with our support team. They're friendly and helpful, so don't be shy about calling them.